Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. And welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Monster Legend video on Progressive Islands. This video is specifically going to focus on the Night Fossil Island because it's currently going on, but really, this information can be used for any single Progressive Island because the tips, the techniques, the tricks, they are all the same. So, if you learn from this video, you will learn for all future Progressive Islands. And I just feel like it's time to make another one of these videos because there's new people playing Monster Legends, there's new people to my channel, so it's really the best way to learn. So the number, the magic number you need to remember about progressive islands is the number eight. Eight, eight, eight. If you can remember that number, you will be solid. What does that number mean? That number is the maximum time it takes for your entire pool to be full. Pool of what, you may ask? Pool of items. It's the respawn time. Every eight hours, you can do a full collection of your items. Now, the other important thing to remember is how many of each item you can collect every eight hours so when an event first starts the very first time it starts you can pretty much collect and you'll get your maximum number of items and here's the thing it's not about how much you collect it's literally just about collecting so as you can see i collected and i didn't get anything honestly if you just wait some time and collect then you'll get some items so this next collection i guarantee you i'm gonna get items oh i didn't get anything very strange so again you can just you can literally spam collect and i will eventually get items Sometimes if you don't, you could exit out and go back into the game, which is what I find myself doing. And this tends to happen more so when I'm on an account that I haven't used in a while. The reason I'm using a brand new account where I haven't, where I have no progress in the Progressive Island is just to show you how, how it works if it was to start from the very beginning. On all of my other accounts, I've already started. Anyhow, check this out. Since I collect gold, bam. Oh, wow, that is so weird. Why does this always happen when I do a video? All right, just to make sure... We are going to go on... Oh, I lost it. We are going to go on... Okay, we'll do a collection. Where is the Progressive Island? Uh, Love Season Survival. Where is it? Did I just lose it? Okay, so what I think happened is that maybe it's because the game's not updated. So I'll quickly update it and then we'll try again. So important thing. Make sure your game is updated or else you guys have you could have some trouble with events. But it's very weird because we did see the event. And then the second time over, I didn't see it even though the pop-up message was there. But unless I missed it on the right hand corner when I'm editing this video, I'll find out. But now everything should be fine. And once again, what's the magic number? 8. Every 8 hours after your first collection, you should be logging in and you should do all of your tasks and you should get the maximum number of items. But there's also an important step on when you should gem. So if you do use a few gems, it could go a long way. So let's see, let me collect my item. There we go, I got 2. So 2 is now the magic number for gold. The magic number is 6. Every 8 hours, I am able to get 6 gold items. And the first time, again, you, you, you should get your pool is completely full. I got 3, 3 and 2 is 5, so I'm missing 1 gold item. Again, you don't have to collect full habitats. You can literally spam collect on a tiny habitat there. I have my 6 gold items. Let me find that task. Where is it? I still There it is. Nightfall of Solaris. I have 6 out of 9. That is awesome. Let me do the feeder monsters. The magic numbers for feeder monsters is... Four. You can get four chicken legs every eight hours, which also means you can get one chicken leg every two hours. So let's say you're about to go to sleep and you shouldn't not collect. You can honestly, if you're going to sleep for eight hours, you should collect, get your two chicken legs, and then log it, and then when you wake up, you can play the game again and get four. So in total, you get six as opposed to just getting four. So be smart about your logins. But check this out. Bam, four. So now it doesn't matter how much I spam feed or how much I spam collect. I'm not going to be getting any more items because I already exhausted my pool. There are no more items in my pool. I have to wait eight hours for them to spawn. Okay, so let's click on this. And as you can see, the more and more items I collect, the cheaper my overall cost is. It is now down to 18 gems. The fighting is very easy. You can do this every two hours. So make sure you do this. The fighting PvP is also very easy. You can fight PvP pretty much in a row and you'll lower the cost. Although PvP doesn't lower that much. The breeding... And the hatching, once again, those can be done once every 8 hours. So if I go over here and I hatch an egg, oh, wherever my breeding thing is, if I hatch an egg, I should get my item. And again, sometimes you'll notice the first time you don't get it right away. You could always just, like, buy a quick common monster, whether it be fire or nature. And then if you hatch those and selling, does mean, selling is the same as hatching, you'll pretty much get your item right away. Let me hatch this guy. Didn't get any item. Let me sell one of these new eggs. Maybe that's why it has to be a new egg. Bam. Nope, still didn't get anything. Maybe this one. 
Bam. Nope, still didn't get anything. So then I'm actually going to try to breed an egg and then hatch an egg. So I don't know where the farms are. Where are my, are my breeding cave, breeding tree? Where is it? This is why it pains. It's, it's useful to be organized. So let me click breed and let me go fire. Fire, fire, fire. I don't even have... There it is. Vulcan. And let me go nature. Where is nature? Right there. So this is a really useful combination. Whether it be for breeding or whether it be for hatching because it's so short. It takes a really short time. Sometimes I have noticed that when you breed on your other habitat, like a, a long timed monster, like let's say a legendary, and then you try breeding on your other one, like your ultra breeding tree, you don't get any points. I think that's because the item sort of gets like locked with the other breeding combination that has happened to me a number of times. So that could be a thing you got to watch out for. Typically during these kind of events, it's useful just to have your stuff open. So let's see. Like this one, when I sell that pandakin, I'm pretty sure I will get the item. But yeah, as you can see, it lowers the cost of everything. For feed your monster, I only need one more. For fight, in two hours, I'm ready to fight again. And then collect gold in two hours. If I was to collect, I'll probably do... I'll get one more collect gold. So honestly, this first one, after my initial collection, two hours later, I should probably come back into the game, do a full collection, and then gem it and skip and start the new one, the Nightfall of Solaris 2. And here's another cool thing. When you start a brand new one, check this out, bam. When you start a brand new, um, a brand new node, you actually get to do a full collection. So let me demonstrate that right now. So I'm going to pay 11 right now. So I immediately get to start on my very next chest, right? And it takes a while. What I recommend is maybe exiting out of the game, log back into the game, do a few collections here and there, maybe fight a PVP. And what you'll notice is that even though it hasn't been eight hours, just because you moved on to the next to the next node, your whole pool is full again and you get to do the maximum collections. So let's see if we remember, what was the magic number for gold? It was six. I should be getting six gold items. What was the magic number for feeding? It's four. So I should be getting four chicken legs. So let's see if I get some gold. I got two right there. Let's go over and feed. I got none. Let's go back to collecting gold. I got none, so I still only have two. Let's go back to feeding. There's my four. Bam. So I'm not. I'm gonna stop feeding because it's pretty much pointless. Now I just need to get all of my collect gold items. I'm at three, and let me just collect all over the place. Oh, let me do a quick breed because I gotta get that one breeding token. So there's a repeat there. I'm still missing some gold. I got one. Let me do a PVP and come back, and maybe by the time I come back, I'll be. I'll get the rest of my remaining gold and I'll get my breeding one. So times four speed, elite sea troops, I actually stamina devours because that Baroness. And then 20k volts. Why does, I'm like, isn't Baroness water? No, Baroness is metal. 20k volts, I should have picked an easier opponent or faster opponent. That's fine, 20k volts, static shocks, and recharge, and dragon slash, and, oh wow. You have a skill that doesn't cost stamina, or what? Um, static shocks, electrodynamic. Oh, that's not assault. That's aggression. Static shocks, and we'll go auto. So now they yeah, should be able to win. But again, magic number. Log in every eight hours. Your pool should be full, and you should be able to do everything. For gold, it's you should be getting six gold bags every eight hours. For collecting food, you should be getting four. For everything else, like I said, the PvP you can pretty much do as much as you want, and you can finish them all. The fight, that occurs every two hours. And the breeding and hatching, that's every eight hours. But you can honestly just do a pandakin every eight hours. And you should be fine. Check this out. Bam. I didn't get it. Wow. So we'll just do another repeat. Well, sometimes, like I said, let's do a fire. And let's see what this gives me. Maybe a common. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, that's fine. Let me collect my gold. And I didn't get it. Okay. So I'm still missing two, right? Always keep count of how many you're missing. Nightfall, I have 4401. So come on, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, let me collect gold, right? Collect gold. Nope. There it is. I got my my heart for breeding. Let me exit out. Let me go back into the game. And let's see if I get it this time. So we're logging back into the game. So, and this is seriously what it is. I know I'm over explaining, but I just I like to over explain so. I make sure there are no questions about how to do this because it is pretty straightforward. 
and I want everyone to maximize their earnings in this kind of event. You should be able to get all of the chests. You should be able to get a free legendary for very cheap. Maybe it's Laris. You should be able to get some cells. Bam, got my two. So if I go back to the event, check this out. Um, right here, Nightfall. It's down to 19 gems. I already collected six for collect gold. I already did four um, for, for feed your monsters. I did one for breed and I did one for PvP. I can honestly do PvP and knock this down two more. And that'll be three out of three. Collect gold, like I said, every eight hours, it'll it'll go up by six. So if I choose to wait eight hours, what's going to happen? I will be at 12 out of 14. Feeder monster will be eight out of eight. Breed monster will be two out of two. So the only thing that will be expensive will be collect gold. And it'll probably be like four gems to skip. But check this out. If I choose to spend the 19 gems, I'm already on the third. I'm already on the third chest. And I didn't even spend that much right sure i spent 11 gems here and i spent what um whatever i just spent 19 that's 30 but automatically i'm already on this last one and this one look how it gets more harder there's a fight there's four hatch there's five pvp there's 13 feed there's 24 collect gold but this is a guaranteed legendary so 30 gems for guaranteed legendary is not bad at all and i didn't really have to spend that much like i said if you would have started this event when it first started this first chest, you could have done that initial collection, two hours later, do another collection, then you could have sped up. You would have saved some. This one, you could have also maybe waited the eight hours and, and sped up afterwards. Although I will say sometimes waiting those eight hours isn't worth it. Because keep in mind, I, by, I shaved off eight hours and I would have maybe saved 15 gems. Let's see how many gems I save by essentially skipping all the way to this third chest i guarantee you it's gonna be a lot so saving time is sometimes more valuable so people always ask me like hey armor when should i gem hey armor when should i gem i don't know if there's a definite time when you should gem but i i think it's super useful to bypass the first two chests like as fast as you can because they like they don't cost a lot to bypass whereas these next ones they will cost a lot all right so once again it's we're gonna start at two, 289 right 289 watch what happens when i collect gold and when I feed my monsters, look at the price drop. So I'm just going to spam collect everywhere. And spam whatever. So I got two there. Feed. Nothing. Feed. Nothing. Uh, darn it, that premium. I keep clicking on it. Collect. Collect. Um, he's already maxed out. Uh, let's see, right here. Feed. I'm, there's my four. And collect. Collect. There's my two. So I need two more. Did I need a hatch or did I need a breed or something? Let me just repeat, repeat. And check this out. Repeat, repeat, good. Let's try to get my other two. Nothing. Well, let's see what it's at now. It's down to 200. Already by doing four, four gold collections and four feed your monsters, it dropped 89 gems. 89. So, yeah, it was way better to bypass this second chest than to wait eight hours to drop the cost by like 15 gems. 89 gems is way better than 15 gems. So even though it seems like I like I skipped too early, no, I skipped at the right time. So this is what you want to do. This is what you kind of want to get used to doing. Just, but I would say just bypass the first two after like an initial collection or like an initial collection in a few hours. Um, again, and again, this always happens where like it kind of gets stuck. So I personally, oh no, I got my two, perfect. Um, let me, was it a hatch? So I got my hatch there. So check this out. I'm already down to 168 gems. Bam. Just like that. And I haven't done PvP. I haven't done the fight. Well, actually, the one thing that doesn't reset is the fight. So I still need to wait the two hours from the last node. But look at that. It's already down to 168. I shaved off a huge gem cost. And this is essentially going to be a super cheap legendary. Maybe it's Lady Solaris. Maybe I can even walk away with some with some cells for Lady Solaris over here. So, yeah, because this can pretty much be done in three rotations. Check it out. The Collect Gold. You get six every eight hours. So in the next 8 hours, I'll be 12. 8 hours afterwards, I'll be at, what, 18? So that's when you want to skip. When this is at 18, because Feed Your Monster will be at 12. Fight will be 3 out of 3, so that'll be done. Hatch Eggs will be 3 out of 4, so that'll be done. And Fight PP will be done. And then you can start the Lady Solaris, and you'll probably walk away with the 35 and 65. But you know, now if you're watching this video now, it's kind of too late. But now you know for future Progressive Islands. So I really, really hope this video was helpful. Just be smart about spending. What's the magic number? Eight hours. Log in every eight hours and do your tasks, but be smart about skipping 
and per most of the time you probably want to skip during those first two initial initial nodes and you know what i might as well just open the chest since we're watching this video maybe i get lucky maybe i don't and it is a nanook and then for the number two chest it is a it is a t shire so no lady solaris but nonetheless i hope this video was helpful make sure to share it with all of your friends and i'll see you all next time